Uh, welcome to the next session, the axe. Well, there's different kind of axes. And I'm going to be showing you the different kinds. There's a proper way of carrying the axe and passing the axe. Or a hatchet. Well, shall we get started? Let's start with this auction that does not look like an axe or a hatchet. This is a 10 inch mill file. This is the 10 inch mill file. I use a piece of leather, and if I have a pair of gloves on, be more safety. This is used for sharpening the axe with a hatchet. Please, always remember this is for sharpening the axe with a hatchet. This is your 10 inch mill file. The axe or the hatchet. This is a hatchet. Granted, I got the sheet on it, but this is your hatchet. Youth hatchet. There's an adult hatchet in my ship. Now you know that there are like three different kind of axes here. Well, to start with, this is a three-quarter youth axe. It's used for the youth. And this is a full-size axe, mostly for adults and people who have Paul Bunyan. You can tell that they're the different sizes. One, not only by the going right beside each other, you can see it by the top parts here. And by the length of the handles. Now, for some of you, one, let's look at on how you carry the axe, shall we? Or before that, let me show you something. This is a full size double bladed axe. You do not ever. This is not. This is not a required scout act for scouting events. Except for this a labor weekend up at your base camp, you may see some adults bring their full size double bladed axe to use. But keep in mind, they're the ones that will also be using chainsaws. And older boys who have their Paul Bunyan Woodsman Award may try to sneak this in, but they won't be able to use it. Now, let's do the proper way of carrying the axe. When you carry the axe, always, always have the axe. When you carry it on your side, Always have the blade pointed away from you to the side at all times. It wouldn't matter which hand you put it in. Always do it. Because if you trip and fall, this allows you to be able to drop, let go of the axe and drop it and get it out of your way. But always carry with the blade facing to the side. Now when passing an axe or a hatchet, you always use two hands at all times. This is, you do it like this. One right here, one right here, and the other person put their hand here and here, wherever the case may be. You wait for them to say thank you. If they're handing you the axe, they're gonna wait for you to say thank you. This is what's important. All right. Now, that's all right now when it comes to uh swinging the axe imagine you're doing a hula dance because this is about basically the movement you're going to be using when using the axe for the boys which was new to the children because 
we don't want you to bring it. We don't want you to bring it all the way back here because you can cut yourself, cut your ear. We recommend bring it up to the side, and then as you swing, you bring it forward and you bring it down. Keep your knees bent a little bit to start with, but then as you come down, you bend your knees more, and then you cut. What you're doing is you're cutting a V cut. When you're doing that, then you switch hands and you do the same thing. Make the V cut. Because if you swing straight down, it's just going to make a dip. That's all it's doing. That's why you want to cut in an angle in a V. And like I said, it's like doing a hula dance. Let's head over to the axe yard. Hi. Hi. Here is a demonstration of what the axe yard is. We'll have some basic form like this. Caution tape or rope with uh, flags or colorful tape mark the people over there as an axe yard. You will always, this is where you do a lot of your kind of camp outs. This is just an example of a quick camp. Uh, you use the tools, here's what you use the tools for. And here, you use I want to be out there doing demonstrations. When entering and exiting an action, always, I repeat, always ask for permission to enter the action. If the person says yes, they'll stop them and put the permit down, then you, they'll step up and you go in. It's recommended to be big enough for one person at a time working the action unless there's instruction going on, then it's recommended to be big enough for two people. When you're not cutting or whatever, put the equipment away off to one side of the axe yard or put it away in a tent somewhere to keep from getting wet. Now, Let's do some cutting, shall we? Now I'm cutting with the axe. This goes all through the demonstration. When you swing the axe, like I said earlier, I'm going to explain it to you earlier. Swing the axe always. I love you doing a little bit. Bring the axe up here. As you bring the axe, you slide and you hit. Then you switch hands. So bring it up, slide, and always watch where you hit it. That's not how you cut the axe. Now sharpening the axe, I'm going to show you two different ways. Let's take the camera a little bit. All right. There we go. Now, I'll 
you want to show up with an axe, it's where he would kneel down on the ground, but I'm going to bend over, which is not smart. They'll have the axe on one side with a couple of sticks to hold it in position. But for me, I can just use my hand. When you sharpen it, don't do this. This will flatten the whole thing. This will just only shave off the side. Put a little bit of an angle. Start and follow the curve. Or some people may do it sitting down. Oh. It's the same concept, but the difference is you're sitting down, you put it more towards the end towards your knees to let it hang down at an angle. Keep it at an angle like I have. Start at one point and as you slide down, follow the curve. No matter what you do, follow the curve. And the axe yard is also used for cutting with the saws. Okay, we're here inside now. When it comes, let's finish up the thing. First aid for the axe. I don't care what kind of injury you get, stab the head, hands, arms, or if you get something to amputate, or you get a stab by and get a deep cut. An axe is an automatic hospital. Go straight to the hospital. Go get it treated, cover, stop me, minimize the bleeding, cover them up, get that person to the hospital as soon as possible. Now, for the parents, I need you to do the following. Have them practice swinging the axe. Have your son or daughter practice swinging the axe. Have your pass out. Proper way of swinging the axe about bending the knees, let the hand slide all the way down the handle, always cut in the V, but do not swing it all the way back behind the head or behind the ears. Just bring it up to the side and let it swing. Practice, have them practice carrying the axe. Practice passing the axe. Remember the blades will all be facing out to the side. And remember, the axe is tools, not toys. This concludes your totem ship session for the axe. Have a nice day and let's go have some fun.